Since the dawn of time, man and his simian counterparts have dreamt of ways to better hunt, gather, and have a lawn and garden that facilitates his family's enjoyment of the outdoors. For many, a healthy lawn also serves as a source of pride, and secretly, man strives to be the envy of all of his neighbors. Unfortunately, despite all the care and efforts he might put forth to create and maintain that elusive lush carpet, nature and her 900,000 species of insects, to include the destructive chinchbug, who is currently disturbing our ape's afternoon slumber, oftentimes have the last word. Or, do they? Yard Apes Incorporated is proud to present a Midsummer Afternoon's Nightmare, a mini documentary designed to educate the masses on the vile chinch bug, a pest that has the power to erase years of stringent lawn care efforts in a matter of days. Our dreaming ape has just remembered that it is June, which means it is time to start scouting for chinch bugs on the lawns she takes care of. But first, she must go to the lab and library to get a refresher on her nemesis. Tiny at 3 mm in length, chinch bugs also sometimes referred to as lawn vampires literally suck the life out of turf grass blades. They feast on turf tissues while simultaneously injecting chemicals that clog the plant's vascular systems, causing rapid death. Chinch bugs, or, if you'd like to be fancy about it, Blissus leucopterus, usually make an appearance during warmer months. In New England, this is June through September, however weather can extend or shorten the period. Chinch bugs adore droughts, as well as being close to heat conducting materials such as driveways, sidewalks, patios, and pavement. Excess organic matter within turf areas, such as heavy grass clippings and leaves, also known as thatch, and too much nitrogen in soil may increase the risk of infestation. The telltale sign of the chinch bug's arrival are sudden appearances of yellow, halo-like areas within otherwise healthy turf. As chinch bugs feed, the spots will grow larger, expanding out and turf will turn reddish-brown and die as they feed on healthy grass. If you suspect chinch bugs are present in your own lawn, detection and identification is key. These critters move quickly. The best thing to do is inspect areas by brushing back the turf where dead portions meet healthy ones, as that is where they will likely be. The technique is similar to that of many primates combing one another's fur for insects. Look closely for tiny black insects with white wings at approximately 3 mm in length, and be sure to check many of these outer areas. The next step is prompt treatment. There are a few products available at home improvement stores in both granular and liquid forms that can help stop an infestation. Using these as directed can certainly be effective by the average person, however it might be a better choice to call your favorite licensed lawn care professional. The products available to licensed lawn care professionals, along with their experience in application is always a safer choice to stop the spread of the elusive chinch bug. Our simulated diagnosis and treatment is now complete. Surely our ape will have a better night's rest now that the bad bugs have been eradicated. Thank you for viewing, and please stay vigilant as you enjoy your own lawn throughout the course of the warm summer months. Lest you have your very own, midsummer, afternoons, nightmare. <laughs>